The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to your logic lesson with Madame Lopez Evelyn, your logic teacher. We are going to continue with our Form 4 logic. Form 4 logic. Lesson 9. Lesson 9 is titled Symbolizing Categorical Propositions. Symbolizing Categorical Propositions. My dear learners, listeners, let us start with the correction of the assignment that was given to you in our last class, in our previous lesson. Correction of assignment. Identify the types of each of the following propositions. Identify the types of each of the following propositions and determine whether its terms are distributed or undistributed. Determine whether its terms are distributed or undistributed. One. All lawyers are criminals. Two, no babies are fathers. Three, some birds are handsome creatures. Some birds are handsome creatures. Four, some children are not illiterate. Some children are not illiterate. My dear learners, correction of assignment. This is the answer. And the question was, identify the types of each of the following propositions. You are required to identify the type and then you determine whether its terms are distributed or undistributed. One. All lawyers are liars. Given all lawyers are liars, you consider it as an A proposition. It is an A proposition. And the A proposition distributes the subject term and undistributes the predicate term. Take note, with the A proposition, the subject term is distributed and the predicate term is undistributed. The second proposition. No babies are fathers. No babies are fathers. This is an E proposition. That is a universal negative proposition. Its subject term as well as its predicate term are distributed. The subject term of the E proposition and the predicate term of the E proposition is distributed. Three. Some birds are handsome creatures. Some birds are handsome creatures. This is an I proposition. Take notes. It is an I proposition with the subject and the predicate term undistributed. 
the subject and critical term of the I proposition are both undistributed. Four, some children are not illiterate. Some children are not illiterate. My dear learners, it is an all proposition and the subject term is undistributed. Why? The predicate term is distributed. The subject term of an E proposition of an all proposition is undistributed and the predicate term is distributed. Our lesson for today will be based on symbolizing categorical proposition. That is symbolizing the A proposition, E proposition, I proposition, as well as the O proposition. Before we start our lesson, it is good for us to have a plan. That is a lesson plan. We are going to begin with a lesson overview. Then, two, lesson justification. And then we go ahead with a prerequisite. That is knowledge from our previous knowledge. Four, we shall come up with a real life situation. Five, integration activity. Then we shall have the summary of the entire lesson. Then my dear learners, you obviously have an assignment to better assimilate or understand the next lesson. Dear learners, let us start with the lesson overview. Lesson overview. Learners should be able to represent a proposition using symbol. What are you supposed to know? You are supposed to be able to represent a proposition using symbols. Why? Why should I be representing proposition using same symbols? Lesson justification. Learners to know that the terms of a proposition can be symbolized. You should know that the terms of a proposition can be symbolized to show the presence or absence of members. The terms of a proposition, that is the subject terms and the predicate terms can be symbolized to show the presence or absence of members in that proposition. Prerequisites. Previous knowledge. You learners can translate proposition from one form to the other. You can translate proposition from one form to the other. Equally, you can distribute the terms of proposition. You can distribute the terms of the A proposition, the E proposition, the I proposition, and the O proposition. Dear learners, let us listen to this real life situation. In our basic education, we study sets and Venn diagram. All of us, in our basic education, before coming to the secondary school, we studied sets and Venn diagrams. Here are some sets. A. Multiples of 3 less than 10. B. Even numbers less than 10. My dear learners, who can bring out these sets? Multiples of 3 less than 10 and even numbers less than 10. A. Multiples of 3 less than 10. You have 3, 6, and 9. B. Even numbers less than 10. You have 2, 4, 6, and 8. Learners, we all notice that we have the number 6, which is common to the two sets. We all know, see that we have the number 6, which is both a multiple of 3 less than 10 and equally the even number less than 10. 
Lesson presentation. Lesson nine. Our lesson is lesson nine and it is titled Symbolizing Categorical Propositions. Symbolizing Categorical Propositions. The first part of our lesson will be based on symbolizing the subject and the predicate terms of categorical propositions. We shall start with symbolizing the subject and predicate terms of categorical propositions. Categorical proposition contains two terms. Every categorical proposition contains two terms. That is, the subject class symbolized using S. The subject class of a categorical proposition is symbolized using S. The predicate class is symbolized using P. Given the proposition, all men are cheats. The subject term, men, is symbolized using S and the predicate term cheat is symbolized using P. Dear learners, to assert that S has some members, we symbolize it as S is equal to zero. That is, S is equal to zero. When you want to assert that S has some members, my dear learners, listeners, to assert that S has no members, we symbolize it as S is equal to zero. That is, S is equal to zero. And to assert that S has some members, we symbolize it as S is not equal to zero. S is not equal to zero. Therefore, to symbolize standard form categorical propositions, that is the SP, we just oppose the symbols for the two original classes. The common part that is membership of the two classes is called the product or the intersection. Just like we saw with the figure six that appeared in both the multiple of 10 and the even number less than 10. Second part of our lesson is titled Symbolizing the A, E, I, and O proposition. Symbolizing the A, E, I, and O proposition. One, the E proposition is symbolized by the equality. SP is equal to zero. The E proposition is symbolized by the equality SP is equal to zero. That is, no members of the class S are members of the class P. No members of the class S are members of the class P. That is, SP is, is equal to zero. Two, the I proposition is symbolized by the inequality. SP is not equal to zero. SP is not equal to zero. That is, some members of S are also members of P. Some members that are found in S are also found in P. That is, Members which are both S and P are not empty. In other words, members which are both S and P are not empty. Three, the A and O proposition are symbolized by a new method of representing class complement. The A and O proposition are symbolized by a new method of representing class complement. For instance, in the complement of the class of all teachers, all teachers 
complement itself with all which are not teachers. In the complement of the class of all teachers, all teachers complement itself with all which are not teachers. That is the class of all known teachers. Therefore, we have the class of all known teachers and the class of all teachers. In this case, the letter S symbolizes the class of all teachers and the class of all known teachers. The letter S symbolizes the class of all teachers and the class of all known teachers. And it is symbolized as S bar. S bar. It symbolizes as S bar. This shows that the A proposition is symbolized by S P bar is equal to zero. Then S P bar is equal to zero. That is, all members of S are not members of P. All the members of S are not members of P. S P bar is equal to zero. All the members of the class S are not members of the P class. Take note. We notice that the A and the O proposition are contradictions. The A and the O propositions are contradictions. The A proposition is symbolized by SP bar is equal to zero. SP bar is equal to zero. SP bar is equal to zero. And the all proposition is symbolized as SP bar is not equal to zero. Take note. SP bar is not equal to zero. The E and the I propositions are equally contradictories. The E proposition is symbolized as SP is equal to zero. SP is equal to zero. That is the E proposition. SP is equal to zero. Why the O proposition? Why the I proposition? Is symbolized as SP is not equal to zero. This can be represented by the Boolean square of opposition as follows. Look at it. The A proposition SP bar is equal to zero. Contradict itself. With the O proposition, SP bar is not equal to zero. SP bar is equal to zero, while the O SP bar is not equal to zero. The E proposition contradicts itself with the I proposition. SP is equal to zero for the E proposition and for the I proposition, SP is not equal to zero. Dear learners, one. A proposition. All S appear. Let us look at this proposition one after the other and how they can be symbolized or how the subject and predicate term can be symbolized. One, the A proposition. All S appear. The proposition all S appear is asserting that if they are members of S, they are not in the part P. If they are members of S, they are not in the part P. They are rather in SP. Thus, the area of S which is outside P is completely empty. That's why we say SP bar. Thus, the area of S which is outside P is completely empty. 
my dear learners, take note that with the A proposition, that is RSRP, it is asserting that if they are members of S, they are not in the part P. They are rather in SP. Thus, the area of S, which is outside P, is completely empty. Two, the E proposition. No S R P. A proposition of the form no S R P is asserting that there are no members of S which are also members of P. No S R P. No members of S are also members of P. E proposition. No S R P. No members of S are also members of P. Therefore, SP is empty and they are equally mutually exclusive. No, no members of S are members of P. The I proposition, some S are P. Any proposition of the form some S are P is asserting that there is at least something which is both a member of P and of S. Some S are P, the I proposition. SP is not equal to zero. That is, there is at least something which is both a member of S and P, simply because SP is not equal to zero. Dear learners, for the old proposition, that is, some S are not P, any proposition of the form some S are not P is asserting that there exists something in S that does not belong to P. There exists something in S that does not belong to P. Thus, there is at least one member of S that does not belong to P. There is at least one member of S that does not belong to P. SP is not equal to zero because there is at least one member of S that does not belong to P. Dear learners, let us look at this activity, integration activity, and try to see whether we actually assimilated our lesson. Let us test our skills and our aptitudes. Structural type question. Symbolize the following propositions. One, all principles are literates. All principles are literate. Two, no chiefs are bachelors. Two, no chiefs are bachelors. Three, some politicians are wise persons. Three, some politicians are wise persons. Four, some lawyers are not liars. Four, some lawyers are not liars. You are required to symbolize the following proposition. If you are given all principles are literate, we symbolize it as S P bar is equal to zero because it is an A proposition. The first thing to do is we identify whether it is an A and E. I, O, and O proposition. If you discover that all principles are literate, it's an A proposition, you simply symbolize it as S, P bar is equal to zero. Two, no chief are bachelors. Is it an A proposition, E proposition, I proposition, or an O proposition? My dear learners, it is nothing but an E 
pole position and it is symbolized as SP is equal to zero. SP is equal to zero. We equally have some politicians are wise persons. Some politicians are wise persons. Is this an A proposition or an E proposition or an I proposition or an O proposition? Some politicians are wise persons. My dear learners, it is an I proposition and it is symbolized as SP is not equal to zero. I proposition, SP is not equal to zero. Dear learners, some lawyers are not liars. Some lawyers are not liars. It's an old proposition and it is symbolized as SP bar is not equal to zero. SP bar is not equal to zero. You notice here that when you have the A proposition, generally all A propositions are symbolized as SP bar is equal to zero. All E propositions are symbolized as SP is equal to zero. Given all I propositions, they are symbolized as SP is not equal to zero. And when you have any O proposition, you symbolize it as SP bar is not equal to zero. Summarily, my dear learners and listeners, we have seen that the four categorical propositions, that is the A, the E, the I, or the O proposition, can be symbolized. This is based on total class inclusion and exclusion, as well as partial class inclusion and exclusion. The four Categorical proposition can be symbolized based on total class inclusion and exclusion, as well as partial class inclusion and exclusion. Let us go home with this assignment. This assignment will help you to test your knowledge of understanding. Identify whether the following proposition are the A, E, I, O, O proposition. Then you diagram them. Identify whether the following propositions are the A, E, I, O, O proposition. Then you diagram them. Equally symbolize them, my dear students. One, some women are mothers. Some women are mothers. Two, all teachers are learners. Three, no parents are poor persons. Three, no parents are poor persons. Four, some pastors are bachelors. Some pastors are bachelors. Una tege si, ma tege yop. Una tege minga, ma tege nyum. Una tege majang, ma tege ndom. Mane tambia niña ne injubia yen. Ngani bana, ma tege mot. Ngani la kiri, wa tege ndong. Esa kina, bia jinkido. Mane tambia niña ne injubia yen. Tam tama mote, tam zabike. Tam tam atonge tam zabike tam 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 amote tam zabike mane tambia niña ne injubia yen 